Hey everyone, it's Allison Haikila. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have not one, but two parcels from A Colorful Life Designs. One has the brand new March stencils, and the other one has the March blingage that's being released. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. We're gonna start with the stencils. So as you guys probably know, every month A Colorful Life Designs, which is a one, a woman owned business, um, releases a bunch of amazing stencils and there are thousands upon thousands of stencils available on the website. So, and they're available at any time. So anytime you want to grab one, you can pick that up. Oh, look at that. This is the opaque iridescent vanilla. It's gorgeous. Let's peel this off. We'll take a closer look when we open up the other parcel, but look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm loving it already. Loving it already. Make sure that when you do order from A Color for Life Designs, you use my coupon code, which is ALFAN10. I'll have it in the description box below um, because you'll save 10% on your order, not including bundles. Um, as far as the, oh, this one I can't show you. We have a mid-month release here. Pulling that out, you'll get to see that on March 15th, um, and not before. <laughs> um, so my coupon code is 10% off your purchase, not including bundles. Um, although, for the first week of March, you can use it on the bundle of blingage. So keep that in mind. And that will be 20% off in addition. So you'll have lots of sales that you can take advantage of. All right, let's get into this. We have tri dots. You guys know I love geometrics and like semi geometric, semi organic shapes, and that's totally this. They're not perfectly formed triangles and dots, but they look like they're hand drawn, and I think that is super cool. This is going to be great for mark making in an art journal, on ATC cards, regular cards, whatever you want to do. This is just an awesome looking stencil. Very excited about that one. Next we have Curvy Path. This is going to be really cool because I can see this being combined with other stencils because there's a lot of negative space here. Um, so yes, of course, you can make it into like a path if you have like fairies walking down or flowers along here, but all of this negative space you can have a different stencil happening and that could be pretty cool too. I could see this being done in rainbow. I, I don't know, maybe just isolating part of it. You guys know I like to isolate parts of my stencil, but look at this piece right here. If we just kind of cover that up, say we have, I don't know, a cat image, right? That we've colored in and we just want to highlight it a little bit. We can put this like around it, maybe repeat it on the other side and form a circle or just keep it like that. Just maybe you're highlighting a word. I don't know. Cool stuff. Don't look at it just as this. Kind of bring yourself in and isolate the stencils to see what parts you can use beyond just what you see in the full stencil. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, next up we have oh, the layered monsters. This is going to be fun. You might be like, it's not Halloween. First of all, Halloween can be all year. Second of all, when you see a couple of the other stencils that are coming up, you'll get it. But this is so fun. So you can use the eyes and put them in here if you want to. Maybe you want to switch them around because this eye would totally fit in here once or twice or maybe even three times. Um, but that's going to be fun. <laughs> That'll be fun. You know what would be cool? If we use a roll-off print with them. Let me see. Do I have one here? Okay. Because the roll-off prints, when I use my brayer and I'm using my gel press plate, um, you know, I roll off the extra paint onto paper and it eventually starts creating this texture. So how fun is that? You could just make your little, I'm sorry about the glare from my light. Um, you can make your little monster have this fun texture on it and then put the eyeball on top and, you know, you've got this funky monster. That's going to be fun to play with. I have to remember to do that. I have to rewatch my videos so that I remember all of my ideas. <laughs> 
So here is a sentiment set that goes perfectly with these monsters. This is Monster Sayings. Happy birthday, you little monster. I'm sorry I was such a monster. Congrats on your new little monster. These are going to be fun. And again, isolation. Think about how you can use these differently than what they were originally intended. Maybe you just like this happy birthday. Maybe you wanted to just say, I'm sorry. You know, you can do different things. You can even repeat stuff. So you have, you know, maybe this monster, right? And then you could just put little monster, little monster, little monster, just, you know, to kind of have a repetitive pattern that becomes part of the design and not just a sentiment. So that could be fun too. Loving this stuff. Okay, we have Boho Happy Birthday. This is so cool. I think this is so much fun. Again, I keep saying this, but isolate things. You've got this cool rainbow going on here. You've got these cool drops or, or marks. Again, if you're working in an art journal or something and you just need a little something extra, but you don't know what, this is a great thing to add just to give a little bit more interest. Use only one of the flowers or use only two of the flowers. We've got another funky happy birthday here. So there's lots of cool stuff. And then on top of that, this is a card base that hasn't been folded yet, but this will cover up pretty much a whole card front if you want to keep it as is. So, so many things you can do with just the one stencil. I'm really seeing this with like carved pumpkin, saltwater taffy, and salvaged patina distress inks. Right? Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe a touch of twisted citron or villainous potion. I don't know. I think that would be fun. I like that color combo. Okay. Okay. Moving on, um, oh, look what we have here. We have the monsters, the masks of the monsters. Check this out. I love that Mary Kay, the owner of Colorful Life Designs, does this, that she adds the masks to the order because this could just be thrown away, these interior pieces, but no, she includes them. So you can do all sorts of fun techniques. Say you've, you know, you've taken the time to color in your monster and then you want to build a design around it, but you don't want to accidentally get it on the monster. So you can use some temporary adhesive, tape that sucker down and then work around it. And now you haven't messed up your original monster design. Isn't that fun? Loving this. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited too. Okay, this here, um, these are the Marvelous Masks that I had shown last month. Um, so I'm not going to pull that out again. They were released last month and they are in my previous video. Okay, this is a set. Let's pull this out. Here we go. It says eat cake. So you've got three stencils here that don't look like a whole lot when they're separated. Although, this could be fun to work with, these different shapes. Don't look at them as letters. This could be a cool bracket, right? Just some fun arches. This looks like pants. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited, guys? Okay, so when you layer them all together, it says eat cake. And then you could pop one of the little monsters on here, right? Imagine that it's stenciled. Wouldn't that be fun? So cute. All right. So those are the stencils that I got for this month. I'm, again, not showing you the mid-month release because that's a surprise. You'll see that on the 15th. And now we're going to take a look at the blingage. There are 12 colors. In addition to the other colors that have already been released, I think there were... 12 in February and maybe 12 the month before. Oh, even labeled. So nice. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have here. This is a generous amount of sequins. All right. Take a look at these colors. Oh my gosh. We'll get to this pack in a second. So we have satin black mix. So this is just, it's just a black. So all of these are confetti sequins and that means that there's no hole. Why is my camera not focusing? Let's try a different color. We're not focusing. 
That's slightly better. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this to focus. It's not going to. Um, so the confetti sequins don't have holes. So they're nice and flat and lots of shine on them unless they say satin. The satin ones are kind of a matte finish. And then, oh, there are some that are iridescent and some that aren't. So we have the satin black mix here and the satin light pink. I love these together, right? That's fun. And then we have opaque iridescent peach and opaque iridescent orange. So you can see the difference here. This is much more vibrant and a deeper tone. The peach is much lighter. And to compare it with the pink, you can see that this is clearly a peachy color and not pink but it has flashes of pink in there because of the iridescence. Then we have opaque iridescent light turquoise and opaque iridescent light leaf green. Loving these. These all look good together. It's like, I don't know. What are those little cakes? Those layered, I can't think of the name. They take like forever to make. They're little layered colored cakes. I can't remember. Somebody will tell me in the comments and then I'll be like, oh yeah, duh. Or right after I'm done filming this video, I'll be like, oh yeah, duh. I remember now. I can see them in my mind, but I can't remember what they're called. Okay. What else do we have? So this is the one that came as an extra little freebie on my stencils. This is opaque iridescent vanilla and I am loving this color. It's wonderful. Then we have opalescent taffy. So let's compare it to the satin pink. You can see that this is much brighter and a deeper shade. Plus it's opalescent, whereas this is a satin. So there's no extra colorant on it. Then we have opalescent iridescent, excuse me, opaque iridescent light purple and opalescent hydrangea. So you can see the different flashes of color on here. They're so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. Honestly, they're better in person than what my camera's picking up. I love them. And then lastly, we have Opaque Iridescent Christmas Green and Crystal Metallic Ice Queen. This is like a gunmetal color. It's flashing super pink and purple, but it's, a, it's really a gunmetal color, it looks like to me, with the um, kind of iridescent quality to it. So you could see those pink and green flashes, but the base color seems to be very gunmetal to me. I cannot pick a favorite here, and I don't think that you'd be able to either because they're just so beautiful. What great, like, sherbety colors. I love that. These are not so sherbety, but you know what I mean. Like, if you just, oh, look at that. Perfect for spring, perfect for Easter. Any type of fun occasion where you want to add a little bit of shine and sparkle, you can expect to see lots of shaker cards from me using all of these colors because they are gorgeous. All right, everybody. So that is it. That's the release that I've got. I hope that you have a good time shopping. Um, there's so much to choose from. So I will be sharing projects very soon with you. And that's about it. I will see you all in the next video or over on my blog. Be well. Stay safe. Peace out.